Chef Puck here, and today we're going to roast up some cauliflower. Yes! And this recipe is just about the easiest, tastiest cauliflower recipe that I do as far as roasting. I did one a couple of months ago. I'll put a link around here for a kind of a salt and pepper cauliflower, which is a little more complicated. But this here is super simple, and I'm calling it a cauliflower dish, but if you get down here, you can see I'm using really just as much onion and garlic as I am cauliflower. And this is all we're gonna put in this dish, this with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. But look how much garlic that is. Yes. That is silly, but it's not silly, but it is. Uh, two cloves of garlic. It's like two entire, not two cloves, but two heads of garlic. Bulbs. Two bulbs. That's it. <laughs> Got a winner right here. <laughs> this is more garlic than some people use in an entire year. You know, those poor people. No vampires here. No. And then we've got three uh, kind of medium-sized onions. But I'm going to chop this up. And you don't have to do a lot of chopping with this recipe because we want kind of fairly large pieces because we're going to have them in the oven for a little while. So that's about all I'm going to do to this onion. Some nice chunky chunks like this here. So I'll just cut it in half, then I'll cut each half down like this here, then a couple of big slices like that. And now I've got some large pieces and I'm going to pull those apart. I'm just going to run through the bowl here and pull my onion apart a little bit so that I can be sure and get my oil suffused throughout my ingredients when I add it. Don't cry, Chef Buck. Don't it's cry. just, you know, I'm just thinking about my childhood. It's not the onions, it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the tear in the corner of my eye right there? Acting. This is an old Meryl Streep technique. <laughs> that was part of a writer on Sophie's Choice. She had to have a bowl of onions in her trailer every day to help with her process. Now for my garlic here, I've taken my bulbs and I've separated all the cloves. And most of the cloves here are kind of small, but I've got a few larger pieces. So most of them I'm going to leave intact. And then in the larger bulbs are the larger cloves. I'm just going to give them a little slice. So they're all kind of uniform. Now I have so many pieces of garlic here, but I want as many as possible. So I can get garlic more and more throughout the dish. So there's my garlic and onion. Woo! Yeah! I'm going to go ahead and throw my olive oil in here just a little bit to get it started. And go ahead and start to coat these ingredients before I add the cauliflower. You just want to get your hands all oily. Just look how glistening and delightful that is. This is a very sensual dish. It's a very sexy dish. What? Can you turn off the camera for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now just like the onion, I'm going to uh, chop up my cauliflower, but I'm not going to do it with too much enthusiasm. You know, we're going to have some nice big chunky chunks of cauliflower. So I'm going to pull off my big florets and big chunks. And if I've got any big stem pieces, I'll just chop those off. I was so jealous when you made this because I was visiting with my mom elsewhere and had some purple cauliflower and roasted it. But I didn't use as much onion and garlic and I tried some different seasoning. It it was nowhere near as delicious as this simple recipe. Yeah, the key is uh, all the garlic. I mean, do not skimp on the garlic. Do not be conservative with the garlic. Take as much garlic as you think you should put in there and then double it. <laughs> Looks like you need a bigger boat. I gotta get a bigger container so I can mix this up properly. So I'm just gonna toss my cauliflower with my oily onion and garlic. I'll go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. So now I've got everything mixed up, nice and oily, but not overly oily. It's just enough oil to coat everything. Now, as you can see, I got a baking sheet here and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a piece of parchment paper on here because I'm getting lazy. Makes cleanup nicer. Yeah, it's just so much easier. This is crazy. I don't know. This is more than I usually make. Maybe this cauliflower is a little bit bigger. That's too much. So I'm going to use a second pan. But I'm not going to fool with the uh, parchment paper. I'll just use oil. Now usually I just make enough to fill one pan. But I'm definitely going to use two this time. Because this piece of cauliflower is a little bit bigger. And you do want to have it spread out. And if you have it in a pile, then it's going to end up being very wet and steamy. And we want these vegetables to cook down. 
So we've got everything spread out in one layer, kind of. Come on over here and I'll see if I can open this here with my... Okay, thanks. I was going to try to open it with my mouth and impress everybody, but... I'd have probably had to go to the dentist. All right, boom, boom. Got it roasting away at 425 degrees and we'll come back in a half hour with a little spatula and we'll kind of move things around a little bit and see what it looks like. But it's going to take maybe 45 minutes to an hour for it to roast to perfection. All righty, boom, it has been, oh my goodness. I always stick my head too close to the oven when I open it. I'm going to lose my eyebrows one of these days. Alright, so it has been one half an hour, so I'm going to pull these out and give them a little stir. So this is the one without having any parchment paper on there. You can see everything is starting to color up nicely there. Was this the bottom row? Yeah, this was on the bottom rack, but I'll switch them around when I put them back in. We'll go ahead and give both pans a little bit of a stir just to kind of turn everything over. As you can see, these vegetables are already starting to reduce quite a little bit just from having that moisture cooked out of them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in the oven and I'll change the racks that it was on so that it'll cook a little evenly in case there's a difference in the temperature. And we'll just let them cook away maybe for another 20 minutes. Oh, so we've had this going yeah. for 50 minutes total and it doesn't look too pretty especially here in this pan but it smells with fantastic. the uh, parchment paper yeah that roasted garlic oh. is terrific I mean I could easily combine both of these pans and have just one layer right now so we really cooked a lot of it down but we definitely didn't want to put that much in the oven on one single pan because then it would have just been a wet gloopy mess you wouldn't have got that beautiful char. Exactly. You want it to have a little bit of color, just like this here. I'm stirring it around there. I'm going to spread it out. And then after it cools down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put it into a bowl. And it'll be ready to eat. I mean, it's ready to eat right now, although it's very hot. But what I don't want to do is put it into a bowl right now, because it's all, it's, it's so hot and steamy right now. If I went ahead and piled it in this bowl, then it would just, it would stay wet. It would just be overly soggy. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this pan here and let some of this steam continue to evaporate off here and dry out. This is going to grow great with anything. And, I mean, you could just strip down to your underwear and just hang over the counter here and just ladle this into your mouth and you'll be perfectly happy. Why are you talking about what I've done? <laughs> you know, that's a common occurrence around this household. But uh, we'll give it a taste test on the camera in a little bit. How's the light there? Is it focusing? Does it look beautiful? I had to add some tomato and some spinach on here to make it look appealing because it's kind of drab without that little bit of color. Uh, but almost all of it went in this bowl right here. Although I've been eating a little bit of it out of this pan. Oh, uh, about three times as much as what's there. Uh, most of it went in a bowl. It cooked down quite a little bit. <laughs> but it is so tasty. The garlic really makes this into a creamy dish. It doesn't look very creamy to look at it, but it is creamy-licious. If you want to get some cauliflower in your life, roast it up. Super easy. Definitely give this recipe a try. I'll have a link down below. You can go to myfoodchannel.com. Check out all the recipes over there. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.